Hey, what's up guys? Hey, Terry here, 2-6 Golfer. Here is a pre-recorded talking point that I've come up with now. Last night I was speaking about the, the Ben Hogan swing plane in terms of his shaft. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly what, um, what uh, guys were talking about. Now, as you can see, here's my shaft. Okay, it's set up. Now, let me just, hold on. I think this camera's going to move a little bit before I take the club back. Let's see. Okay, there I go. There I go. So I'm right there at setup. So there's my shaft, right there. Okay. Now, well, let me do that. It's gonna run like like that. Okay. So there's the red line. So that's my shaft. Um, so what happens is you want the club to tr try to return on that same swing plane shaft line. Okay. So as I take the club back, okay, I'm gonna mark a few points. As you can tell, there's. There's a point there where my shaft is on the takeaway. That's that, that's at parallel. Okay. Now we're going to go to the top of my backswing. Okay. Now as I come down, we want the club to try to return on both of those lines. Now I'm pretty decent there. Okay. Pretty decent there. Okay. Now at impact, you see I'm just a little bit, just a tad bit inside the line there, as you can as you can see. But see, the, these are the swing plane lines that, that guys just are amazed at. You know, when I'm golfing at Golf Galaxy or whatever, they, they look at this kind of stuff. And they're amazed that my shaft is just in optimal positions. Now, it could be better, okay? But, you know, I'm not trying to play golf for a living. So as I come down, it's, it's right back where it started on the takeaway. There's the space that I needed to have on, back down on the um, impact, going into impact. And then at... And then at, at the impact position there, as you can see, I'm just a little off. Let me just make, make this a little bigger here. Come down here. I'm just a, just, just a smidgen off a little bit, but not bad. Not bad, as you can tell. You can see it better from that angle. Um, but the takeaway is, is almost ideal in terms of the positioning of where the club is here and then where the club is where here. Now, what, what makes all this happen? Well, guys, what happens is... When you take the club back on the takeaway, your body's not moving. Your core is not moving. Basically, you want to meet the resistance. So as I meet the resistance here, and as my rear elbow has cleared my rear hip, now I can just lift the club straight up. Now, this is probably the most underestimated position move in golf, from parallel to just lifting the club straight up without moving your body. My body still hasn't moved off its center for the most part. It's still, my body is still where it was at center. I'm just here lifting my club up. Now, the downswing, as your arms drop, see, as my arms drop down, okay, if my head stays back, what will happen is my lead hip will start to move. And let me put a, let me put an arrow there. My lead hip starts to move. When my lead hip moves, okay, that's what shallows my club automatically here. It's not that I'm manipulating anything back here. I'm not trying to drop my arms in terms of lowering my arms. Okay, my arms are dropping, but I'm not trying to lower them. Okay, big difference. You know, it's, it's almost like you, you hear these terms, you know, have the shallow of the club where you've got to lower your arms. Well, lower and dropping are two different things because my arms are dropping straight down because I'm on my center. And then as my head stays back, my, my lead hip starts to move. And that's what, again, that's what shallows my club okay coming through impact right here through the ball right here through the ball okay so just a little morning video tip for you guys and this is how I'm going to be doing the morning uh, talking points so I hope you like it again this is what I was talking about as far as the Ben Hogan uh, golf shaft swing plane from setup to impact okay guys talk to you soon